we're paying attention to the massive jet airways scandal as the company that was perfectly healthy a couple of years ago has now gone bankrupt. Let's cut across to a press conference that we understand is being addressed at this point uh, at the Civil Aviation uh, Ministry and listen in. All right, uh, uh, while we wait for that press conference at the Civil Aviation Ministry to begin, uh, just to give you an update, Jet Airways has in fact finally closed its doors. And once the airline has been grounded, there's very little for a bidder to come in and buy because the aircrafts are all leased and have been repossessed. The slots that were available will be handed out to other airlines. And a lot of the other uh, uh, licenses that were available to them will probably last another 90 days. What happens now? 16,000 permanent employees and some uh, part-time employees have been left in the lurch right now. No salaries have been paid and no idea who is going to pay those salaries. There are some very, very important questions we have to ask as citizens right now. First of all, how and why did Jet Airways fail? An airline that was perfectly healthy went completely belly up in a year. Nobody seems to be asking why. Second question. Why is there no investigation that has been ordered or conducted into the books of Jet Airways to find out where the money went and why the company failed? The employees have been just left behind at this point. No answers as to where their salaries are going to come from, if they still have their jobs and what they should do. Why is it that public service banks have taken on the airline only to let it fail? So the airline has now failed in the laps of SBI and Punjab National Bank instead of failing in the lap of Naresh Goel. And most importantly, where is Naresh Goel? And why is it he isn't being asked to take any personal or individual responsibility for what has happened in the airline? Remember, there were signs that have largely been ignored. Earlier last year, there was an auditor who refused to sign the books of Jet Airways because of discrepancies and basically details or transactions that it was not happy with. Before that, last year, the Registrar of Companies wanted to conduct an investigation into Jet Airways because it believed that Naresh Goel was siphoning funds away from the airline. Is this not enough evidence for the government to file an FIR right now and ask for an investigation by the EOW into the company to find out where the money went? Those are the questions we're asking this evening. Uh, I'm just going to check to see if the Civil Aviation Ministry... Okay, apparently the Civil Aviation Ministry press conference has just ended. It was a briefing to the media. And these are the main pointers that emerged out of that press conference. Airlines have assured us on ticket pricing. Process of allotment of slots has been streamlined. And the government assures the sector, sector will stabilize in a few months. Uh, this is effectively what the government has said. That basically they're looking into making sure that other airlines don't hike up their prices too high. Um, and of course, that it is going to make sure that the slots that were available to Jet Airways are now being handed over to the other airlines that are available at this or to fly at this point. Doesn't answer our question of why Jet Airways failed and why there hasn't been an investigation. Let me bring in my panel uh, for this evening. Let me just get to the names of my panelists in the studio. Uh, we have Vivek Reddy, spokesperson of the BJP. Parvez Damania is a former director of Kingfisher Airlines. Captain S.S. Panesar, former director of flight safety and training at Indian Airlines. Vivek Call is a senior journalist. CM Vasudev, former finance secretary. Captain Ashwin Tyagi, general secretary of the Society for Welfare of Indian Pilots. Um, let's just quickly go across and I'll bring you an update of everything that has happened so far with Jet Airways. Take a look. About 16,000 employees of Jet Airways left in the lurch as the airline was forced to suspend its operations for lack of funds. Why, 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 why the employees are uh, made to suffer? What is the fault of the employee? What has employee done? We have uh, children to feed, we have families to feed. Where will we go? Now suddenly, two days back, they said, no, we will not do any funding. And government said, it is a private company, we don't want to interfere. It is not the thing. That is what the private employees are not a citizen of India. We are not. We are not paying tax. Number of things. They keep on going back on the word. One day they say something, and the SBI chairman said something publicly. 
No, he's not. He's missing. He's, we don't know where he is. Jet Airways pilots have not been paid for nearly three months, and the ground staff for over a month. And with their future uncertain, they demand that the government must intervene. Several rounds of meeting were held between the jet management and the staff union since morning, but the talks remain inconclusive as the jet management claims that they have absolutely no money. The lenders have already drawn the line and won't be giving an extended financial lifeline to the beleaguered airline. Now all eyes are on the ongoing process to get an investor to bail out Jet Airways. During this waiting game, it is the employees who are paying the ultimate price. As another airline heads towards doom, Mirror now asks, has India's aviation policy failed? Why did Jet Airways fail? Let's debate. Well, I want to start by asking Captain Thiagi, who joins us right now, who's also uh, an employee of Jet Airways. Captain Thiagi, what is the demand that uh, the union is making at this point? Uh, or if we don't have that connection, we'll, I'll just ask my studio director to get all of the connections ready, please. In the meantime, we'll get this to the um, guests in the studio. Uh, Vivek Kaul, here's, here's the question. Nobody knows why Jet Airways failed, and nobody seems to be asking. Is there something murky at the bottom of that? Yeah, I mean, that uh, can only be established after, uh, you know, the books of accounts are carefully gone through. Mm. But, I mean, if you look at, uh, you know, the, the way the airline operated, I guess there are a couple of uh, sort of broad reasons as to why the airline failed. Uh, you know, the first thing, uh, the first and the foremost thing is that, uh, uh, you know, in, in management there is, there is this theory called the Peters Principle which basically says that every person rises to his or her level of incompetence in a hierarchy. Mm. And uh, Mr. Naresh Goel, uh, you know, was a great guy to sort of launch the airline and, you know, take it to the level that he did, given the fact that the airline sector is so closely linked uh, to the government. So you, ne you needed a person like him. But as the sector sort of matured and the airline became bigger, you needed professionals to take over which if you sort of follow the jet uh, story closely never really happened yes uh, and 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 i think the second uh, reason i think was the fact that uh, uh, that he ended up buying uh, you know the sahara airline at a price which was pretty high and jet could never really uh, come out of that uh, thing now what happens is you know when entrepreneurs mm -hmm. sort of uh, you know become too big they want to you know uh, play uh, or have uh, a presence in uh, different mm -hmm. sectors now a low cost airline and a full service airline are two very different businesses and you cannot essentially be in both the businesses i mean it's like riding two boats at the same time mm -hmm. and all this along with the fact that he had uh, over borrowed and ultimately you know when you over borrow you reach a stage where you need to keep borrowing in order to yeah pay off, uh, you know, all the debt that is maturing. And that game eventually ends, and uh, which is what happened. Having said that, you know, what uh, the lenders did to Jet was even worse. I mean, if yes. they, you know, if the idea was to sort of rescue the airline, uh, then they should have at least, you know, released the 400 crore that was being asked for. Uh, because, uh, you know, it's easier to sell an airline which is in operation than yes. it is to sell an airline which is not in operation. I mean, Correct. this is, Absolutely. Absolutely. It is as simple as that. Absolutely. So, so. Uh, I'm going to ask this question of uh, Mr. C.M. Vasudev. Mr. Vasudev, uh, do you believe that at this point there ought to be an investigation into why the airline failed? Do you believe that uh, perhaps there has to be personal accountability that's also attached at this point? Because here we have an airline that has failed. We have employees that are uh, are going to be lo are looking to be paid. They're out of jobs. Uh, banks are uh, you know out of the money. Not to mention several other debtors who would not have been paid. People in the cargo business, the airlines, the airports, uh, several uh, Indian oil, for example, we know uh, was also waiting in line to be paid. Should there be an investigation, in your opinion, Mr. Vasudev? Well, surely some investigation has to be there and I'm sure it will be done. But I think you need to sort of discuss this issue in, in, in two perspectives. One is the larger perspective which relates to the uh, civil aviation policy and how the entry of the private players started coming in after the monopoly of Air India was removed and what type of policies were put in place by government. 
So this is a very classic example of, I think, crony capitalism uh, thriving in a situation where, where the sector was gradually being opened up for private sector. Uh, the policies were framed and the uh, jet airways was the first entrant on the private sector airline into the uh, airspace. And uh, they were able to manipulate the policy which would ensure that they retained monopoly for a long time. Uh, the uh, FDI, the foreign investors, also the uh, in foreign airlines, there was a cap put that not more than 49% could be owned by foreign airlines. So no foreign airlines could really come for providing competition to the private sector here. And then on top of that, uh, Air India and the Indian Airlines merger, I think, was also part of the thing so that Air India, Indian Airlines also gradually loses market share. All that was taken over by Jet Airways. So this crony capitalism led to a situation where Jet Airways became a monopoly type of a, mm -hmm. and also what happens to Kingfisher is part of the same game. So it became a very major private sector player in the Indian aviation mm -hmm. sector. And then it started sort of biting more than it could chew. And with the result that uh, it bought over uh, Sahara, then it started international flights, it takes so many more planes. And then the other low cost carriers came in and they could not compete. So they became a victor from victim of their own strategy in that sense. They, they started to expand because of crony capitalism, but then low cost carriers started coming in and they could not compete. So that is the larger, I think, picture, and that crony capitalism has led the jet airways to this present situation. Government needs to fix the policy perspective also, why there should be a cap of 49% of foreign airlines if you are opening up, let the domestic players compete with the best in the foreign, among the foreign airlines also. Now you're coming to the second more short-term issue which you raised about investigation. Surely there should be an investigation, but the way the lenders have of late handled this the matter, I think if we've got a, in the, uh, the bankruptcy code now, the IBC, so if, the, if there were NPAs of the jet airways, they could have straight away gone for the uh, insolvency proceedings and bids could have been invited and somebody would have taken a haircut and somebody would have come in and uh, taken over the airlines at whatever is the price that is that can be determined. Instead of doing that, the lenders try to swap their debt for equity in JT Airways, which I don't know whether it has actually happened. I was trying to look at the uh, stock exchange sites, and I find that the shareholding continues to be of yes. Mr. Naresh Kohl and his wife. So what happened to the debt equity swap, which was being talked about, that the state bank is going to take over part of the equity of Naresh Kohl in return for the debt or whatever, that has not happened. So now if you're in a situation where the, uh, the jet airways has gone down, it has been grounded, who is going to hit, take the haircut finally? Is it going to go be that of the lenders? Have they in a way indirectly bailed out uh, mm. uh, Mr. Naresh, Naresh Goyal and his wife uh, by uh, taking over the uh, equity? We don't know. The facts are not very clear. So certainly an investigation is needed to find that out. And surely the last hope which they are holding out that uh, bidders will come and some bids have been invited by 30th April, who will come, what haircuts will be needed, where well, employees will have to take a haircut, the lenders will have to take yes, a haircut, yes. aircraft, the lessers of the aircraft will have to take a haircut. So all those problems are there. So it does need a very thorough investigation as a post-mortem and to take action against people responsible. But also, I think somebody has to take a view, what is the way forward? Yes. Are we yes. just going to let it close down? Of course, in a free market economy, companies come and go. That, that, that could be one way, okay, we can do nothing. If it is going, let it go and let, let the consequences fall wherever they fall. So yes. these are the issues at this point of time. There is no clarity, I think, from the government or the regulators how they propose to handle this matter. Yes, in fact, uh, Captain Ashwini Tiagi joins us right now. He's one of the employees and he's the General Secretary of the Society for Welfare of Indian Pilots. Uh, Captain Tiagi, good evening and thank you for joining us. What is the union asking for at this point in terms of salaries and in terms of assurance on uh, jobs? Also, who are you asking, who are you making these demands to? Okay, uh, now as far as uh, the demand is concerned, it is very simple. 
because pilots are uh, three months uh, behind the salary in terms of salary. Secondly, there is uh, no clear uh, indication from anybody saying that we will infuse funds because initially when we were uh, asking for the money of our salaries, it was promised to us that uh, 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 banks will come into the picture and they will give cert certain amount of money and your salaries will be paid. But today the situation is that they have asked us to wait as per the yesterday's letter by the by our CEO, company CEO, saying that there is a temporary suspension of uh, operations. But my simple question is if there is a temporary suspension and if the bidding, like uh, they, they told us that the, when the expression of interest will come and they'll release the funds so that this air, airline can continue the operations. And... Uh, our CEO two days back written to the uh, SBI saying that uh, we need SOS, we need funds of about 400 crores, which has not been honored. But the only question is when expression of interest has already come and the bidders are there and bank knows that there are bidders and there are serious bidders. So if there are serious bidders and everything is okay, then why to stop the operation? Stopping operation is not understandable to us. Our, our question simple is that we should be paid our salaries if they want to uh, suspend temporary operation, but uh, why they are not paying salaries of the pilots? Well, uh, uh, Captain uh, Tiagi has... Also, even the engineers are not been paid for three months. Has the union yeah, of please, employees no, approached the police to file an FIR or some sort of complaint for the pending salaries? Have you approached any authority other than the management of Jet Airways? No, ma'am. Uh, we have not uh, approached anybody except the highest office of uh, Government of India, the President of India and the Prime Minister of India. We have given a letter to them saying that it's an appeal to uh, direct the concern. We, we actually, as on date, we don't know who will give our money. So we want to know, like, who will give our money. Secondly, they should direct the concerned authorities to release the money and let this aircraft fly, let this uh, airline fly. Because uh, if the airline will not fly, it will definitely be going towards uh, closure. Yes, and what was the last piece of communication you received from management of Jet Airways? Obviously, Naresh Goel hasn't written to employees since he resigned from the board. But what was the last bit of information with the cancelling of operations? Did they give you any indication of whether you know you will stay on roles right now are you still officially employees and for how long they're likely to keep this airline open but not in the air no because they, they are saying that the process of bidding will be completed by 10th of may mm -hmm. so till, uh, till 10th of may they are basically suspending the operations temporarily and depending upon the final outcome of the thing then they'll decide on the operations. Okay. Uh, please stay with us because I would like your inputs on the rest of the conversation as well. But Mr. Damania, now that the airline has been grounded completely, no operations right. at all, is it going to be that much more difficult to get bidders interested? First of all, I think the airline was grounded many days ago. Five ATR and one Boeing flying has no meaning at all. Mm. I think it was a token symbol that the airline is still flying. Okay. An aircraft that has started with 119, five ATR flying is as good as close. I think it was just on paper that it was flying. It could never make any sense anyway. Mm. So in a way, maybe it stopped losing more money. Uh, my other worry is that even if a bidder takes over, a new company comes, they may have completely different policies. They may say, we just want to use 50 uh, white body aircraft. Uh, my, the worst part is, even if a new company comes, even if a new bidder comes, still substantial people will end up losing jobs. You yes. will not be able to tell the XYZ, no, 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 you want to run this airline, you have to take all 16,000 or 20,000 employees. So there are going to be drastic changes. We have to be prepared. I feel that from the day of 25th March till today, I think things have only deteriorated. If SBI came forward and there was a public announcement by the chairman that they were going to pump in 1,500 crore, they should have pumped it. Mm. Like my colleague said, selling a functioning airline is more easier than selling a closed airline. 
my worry is when the new person comes, how many parking lots are you going to offer them in Bombay, Delhi? The value, see, what did Jet buy in Sahara? Let's look at that first. Hmm. They didn't buy the aircraft. The aircrafts were worthless. They were just scraps. They were old 737, 300 and 400. They bought because Sahara had a lot of parking lots and a lot of slots. So the value yes. of that was there. Now I know for a fact Vistara has got substantial, Indigo has got more spice jet courts. So most of the parking lots and the slots have been given away been to away. Vistara, yes. Spice. Okay, now the government is saying they are temporarily given. I don't know how far that's true. What is the new guy going well, to come being offered? Yes. That is what so, my worry is. So Vivek, is. a quick question. I was just looking at the uh, annual statement, the final statement, 2017-18, which is the last annual statement of Jet Airways. In it, in, uh, and tell me if, if this is interesting at all, with a fleet of 112 aircraft, departures had increased, seat kilometers had increased, passenger load factor had increased, yeah, yeah, passenger recovery numbers had increased. Completely. Load Everything had gone up. Very high. But profit, EBITDA, net profit per passenger, net profit altogether had all come no, down. No, in, in the list of the issues that have affected Jet Air, I think one issue we missed out completely. On, fe on 18 September, there was a raid on all jet air premises. And yes. one of the things they found that the issue being probed was pertaining to suspicious expenses, falsification books of accounts, and siphoning of funds by group entities of the airlines. Yes. This was the finding. And we also have found evidence of very high inflated expenditure bills during the survey. Yes. So I think that seriously needs to be investigated. Again, I'm saying if the airline is wound up, I want to understand how much of the loan is secured by the banks. Were there any personal guarantees given by the promoters? Were there any assets mortgaged by the promoters? Have we started work on recovering those assets? And another thing, even if the airline goes yes. up and winding a procedure, what will be left? There'll be nothing left yes. to recover. So do you find it? Do you find this unusual that there were raids and now the banks have taken it over, but nobody's telling us what's in the books or nobody's yeah, looked into I mean, the books? It, it, it is uh, kind of suspicious and which is why it is important that, uh, you know, some amount of forensic accounting uh, be Absolutely. done into the books hmm. of uh, Jet Airways. And, you know, I mean, having said that, you know, airline uh, business globally and over the last, you know, 100 years that it's been around is a difficult business. It's uh, a very to unforgiving be. business. It's, it's, it's a very it's, unforgiving so you, business. So that also needs to be sort of, you know, that point also needs to be made. So yes. airlines keep going bust all the time and, hmm. and it's not like, and it's happened in India as uh, as well. I mean, as, uh, you know, Kingfisher was the last big airline which uh, went bust. So it's a difficult business to be in and uh, and also, you know, the but government doesn't just, really... I just want to remind you that when Kingfisher did go bust, there was a lot of personal responsibility that was attached to Vijay Malia. Yes. For even, having exactly. borrowed so and not paid back. Yes. Right. Yes. No. But what happened in this case was that the uh, the creditors decided not to go through the bank uh, through the insolvency route mm. and uh, you know decided to tackle the situation on their own so you know so that but sort that of help Naresh was no their responsibility and right now you got Naresh Goel go on 25th he'll say the deterioration occurred between 25th March yeah. and now I am yeah. not responsible so it. actually you let him and his family off the hook by letting completely them go. completely, completely. He, he owned he will half say the, the airline occurred. I am not Yes. What my worry is, who are the poor no, employees so, so asking actually, the money from? Actually, uh, fundamentally, we should boil this down to one okay. question. Why is there no investigation? No, there has Simply. to be. This there's has no to be information to and there's no investigation. Yes. For, uh, well, well, let, me, let me just bring the other panelists in. As, uh, Captain S.S. Panesar is also listening, former director, flight safety and training at Indian Airlines. Uh, Captain Panesar, what are you reading into this entire situation? Unfortunately, uh, because the industry has only these as many players as we do in India, employees now will have a difficult time finding new jobs because there are only so many slots available for pilots right now. But do you believe that there ought to be an investigation as to why an airline that was flying for 25 years, full flights, suddenly went under? Uh, uh, let me tell you at the outset, this is a sad day in the Indian aviation. And the masters of open sky policy, when it opened up without any planning, this, this is only a poor country. You started pumping the bank's money and all these owners, they run away after taking the bank money and they declare the, uh, they have no money and they want to close down the airline, making the, so many employees suffer today. 
Why the government has not controlled the input and purchase of the aircraft by these airlines? Indigo is ordering 200, 300 aircraft. They have kept on ordering so many aircraft. Did the government realize that they can run this airline? Now when the airline is running into spin, where is the government? They should come forward and try to help these employees who are suffering today. These owners of the airline, like Vijay Mala, Naresh, they have made their buck and they've gone away. And they have thrown all the ball in the court of the government of India. They have opened, it's a very expensive industry. You cannot run it unless you have a backup of industry. Even Air India, with the backup, the government of India is still running into heavy losses because the bad management, poor management. These bureaucrats don't know how to handle the airline. Today, you have to have professionals and veterans. Maybe they can restore some losses of jet airways and make it viable in future with backup of the government and the proper advice from the veterans. So many families are now suffering because of the bad planning. How they permit them to bring in aircraft, so many, they allow them to buy the route, uh, sell the routes of Air India to Ithad and all that. Where is Ithad today? He did the agreement with Ithad. Mm. Where is he gone? Why is he not coming forward to help with Jetabase? What is the fault of the employee? It is the ownership. They make their buck and they run away and leave the ball in the court of uh, poor people of India. And it's the poor man's money which is like being I, I uh, squeezed by the yes, 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 We just let him finish. Yes, no, what? One second, one second. Let's just let him finish speaking. Uh, well, let me just ask uh, Vivek It's Redi. a very sad day. And yes, it is. government has to intervene and some professionals, veterans have to be brought in yes. to find the solution. There is always a solution for everything. But there should be a will with the government. You start uh, permitting them to import so many aircraft. It's the kickback which they take and they run away. Yes. They take the kickback and they take the money from the banks. They have nothing to worry. It's only the employees who suffer. Yes. It's worry. only the employees who are suffering. Yes. Captain Even Yagi India, has something to say. Who's going to buy the Air India now today? Even with so much professionals and aircraft. Yes. Jet yes. Airways, they are professional pilots, very good employees. Yes. Who's going to buy this airline today? Captain Thiagi, go ahead. The man who is at the helm of the way is gone and run away with his money. Captain Thiagi, go ahead. That's like in America, people do it when they run into it, they declare bankruptcy, yeah, they take yeah. their money and let the government yeah, handle it. Well, the government should take action no. now. Yes, yes, sir. They Captain Thiagi, now. It's yes, time yes, to wake yes, up now. Yes. Captain Thiagi, go ahead. Okay, ma'am, uh, as far as the running of this airline is concerned, I can assure you that uh, there are a dedicated team to run this airline. There is no problem. As far as employees are concerned, there are very, very well, uh, very big amount of uh, people are available to run this airline. And this airline, I can only say that this airline was never in losses. Whatever was done, I don't know at the back of it because... I have been flying in this airline from the last 18 years and we have not seen any aircraft empty without passengers. Yes. So we cannot say that uh, this airline was, uh, because growing an airline from four aircrafts to 123 aircrafts, no airline can grow if, the, if he's making losses continuously. And they were, we were flying 25 years in the skies. Kingfisher was a different example. Kingfisher was never... Never an airline started from four aircrafts. They started from 20, 25 aircrafts. And they, they, were, they were only for a few period of time, maybe about five years or seven years, not more than that. Yes. But we were doing everything with the system and we were increasing the fleet accordingly, according to the requirements. But now the only thing is that the government has come and we are really thankful to the government of India that they have intervened but we want their full intervention on this and mm. uh, some funds should be given to us because running airline can be sold very easily. There is no problem. Okay. And there, this, is, there but, are but, employees who, who still wants to work with Jetaways. Yes. Let me just ask Vivek Reddy of the BJP. Yeah, Vivek Reddy, uh, I, I won't ask for the government to intervene because it's a private company and I don't believe government really should pay for the private company. I'm interested to know why is it that no investigation has been ordered in this case because I agree with Captain Thiagi, all of these employees are citizens. The PSUs from where the money is gone is taxpayer money. Indian oil, taxpayer money. The Airports Authority of India, taxpayer money. So here is an individual called Naresh Goel who has dumped this airline in the lap of SBI and PNB and is 
holding no responsibility whatsoever. Nobody has asked questions. I want to understand where are the investigating authorities and the agencies in India? Why hasn't there been an investigation into Jet Airways to find out what went wrong and where all of the money went? Well, uh, uh, Faye, there are a well, few Mr. aspects Jet to this. It's an extremely can, complex uh, situation. Yes, go ahead, can Mr. I just, Reddy. Uh, it's an extremely complex set of circumstances. Mm. On the one hand, you have uh, the company malfunctioning. On the other hand, you have excessive financial exposure of the company by buying airlines. And on the third, you have instances where the company may have diverged with funds. So if you look at all these complex circumstances, the paramount consideration today for the government is to ensure that there is a successful rebidding process. Because we want Jet Airways to get back to its uh, heels and start at least uh, walking rather than jogging or running. So this is the primary concern of the government because it will ultimately impact the health of this uh, company, one. Second, it, it, uh, it will also impact the life and fate of 16,000 employees. So the government has a two-way two, uh, uh, two no, burden, hang on. I'm, if I may say. Both seem to be opposite to each other. One is, one is to ensure that at least a rebidding process is successful. The second is to always, the second is to pursue the wrongdoers. Whether no, the maladministration has resulted in... No, but nothing the government has done up till now has actually supported will certainly be examined said. by the government. Because if the government wanted the bidding process to happen, yes. then Therefore, the, uh, the PSU should have released the extra funding to keep the airline in the air, which they did not. They took over the airline and let it fail. It doesn't make sense. Why would the banks well, take over the airline to let it well, fail? Well, there are RBI, there is... Correct, 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 correct. So then so why did the banks take over been, the airline you know, at all? The whole problem in our Indian system is also fair, that so long, so long as we keep greening these loans by giving more loans, hmm. the bank also is stuck up with more debts. It's so an why independent hasn't, decision why to hasn't be taken the bank by the bank within this, the RBI Why framework. hasn't the bank declared Jet Airways an NPA? Well, it will. It will. I mean, one is it's looking at the rebidding process, which is to culminate in the, by May or the 10th of May next month. No, but Vivek you Reddy, have to balance various nothing circumstances. the you government has done rope. up till now makes sense. So when you walk the tightrope, the there's no tightrope. There's no tightrope. When you walk Mr. the tightrope, Mr. Reddy, when you walk the tightrope, you have to balance. You have to balance. You have to balance. You have to balance. Where are the investigating agencies? Where is the income tax department? Oh, Where is the on, ED? Faith. Where is the CBI? You're supposed to be looking into matters exactly like this. 9,000 crore rupees. You bring all this once for all. Will it not affect the bidding process? If you, if you no, bring okay, all no, of okay. this and allow them to count on this institution, don't you think it will affect the bidding process? So, so the investigation will not affect your bidding process at all? Have you, and have you one no, second. We are are missing. on a tight one, one second. One we second, have the fate of employees. No, not no. that we will not no, no. pursue that is them. Complete humbug. We will pursue them. I'll tell you what. But you have what? to walk the tightrope now. There's no tightrope, Mr. Reddy. The government is not required to walk the tightrope. Vivek, well, is it easier to get in bidders? After well, you've done you a forensic in investigation into the we accounts, why would anybody bid for an airline where the okay. accounts are so opaque right now? Mr. Reddy, one second, at least listen. Okay, see, I mean, the thing is this. Uh, all the uh, investors uh, who have expressed interest hmm. are not going to buy the airline without going through the books Correct. in detail, yes. right? Yes. So if uh, there are shenanigans, which are financial shenanigans which have happened, I'm sure their accountants will dig it out. Hmm. And if those financial shenanigans are, you know, too big, then they're not going to buy it anyway. Yes. So either way, you know, if the this government doesn't good. order an investigation, whoever is buying the airline will do his own investigation. So, so tell me this. Uh, the justification that Vivek Reddy gave us is that this is a complex situation. Right. Uh, financially, it's complex. The government right. is concerned with the fate of the employees at this point. We just want to find a bidder. Is right. that, does that match with the actions and the statements that have come from the government up till now? No, I mean, see, not really. I mean, if, if the idea was to sort of, uh, you know, s uh, take care of the employees, then, uh, you know, then the public sector banks should have released the money that they promised. Hmm. If uh, the idea was not to do that, then they shouldn't have taken over the airline. They should have gone through the insolvency and the bankruptcy route, declared the loans to be an NPA, appointed a resolution professional, and followed the recover the money and tried to recover the money. Yes. See, I'll tell you something. I'll know, I this I know this for it a fact. It will be done if the rebidding process. No, no. One minute. Let me say something. Kingfisher after Kingfisher closed down, 
Malia did desperately try to start the airline and I'm sure he tried everything possible. But I'll tell you one thing, once an airline closes, restarting, it is a very, very, very difficult process. It's a really uphill task. And another thing surprises my King Air, Jet Air failed because every policy was made to suit Jet. Naresh Goel manipulated the entire government and every system to make sure things fell in place for Jet. The, the main reason why Tata's took so many years to come mm. Was, was an entire parliament was moved in 1996 yes. when they shouted not to let Jet and Singapore Airways come in. Can you believe it? Tata. MPs Tata were Singapore saying Airways, Tata yes. Singapore should not be allowed. Yes, and I'll tell you something. One of the main reasons why Kingfish also failed is manipulation of the system of Jet not to let Kingfish succeed. Every government that came supported Naresh Gol and Jet in every way. Right no, so I just, I, just, I just want to offer uh, Vivek Reddy a quick rebuttal. He's actually said that you can't actually dig up all of these things overnight. You have to dig up. But it's not overnight. The, uh, there are agencies that have been looking into siphoning of funds for Since at least time? two years now. There have been signs for at least two years now. And for some reason, nobody has actually dug to the end of that line to find out what is really going on in Jet There Airways. are so, so many questions in the parliament yes. in the past. Never who said wants Jet? Yes. Till today, we have not even able yes. to yes. organize who yes. wants Jet. One second. Yes. Okay. So, you know, the irony here is that uh, given that Jet Airways did not allow, you know, a good competition to sort of come up against it, and in the end, it had to pay for it because if there was, you know, if there were other good full service airlines in India right now, mm. we would have probably had more bidders interested in buying Jet Airways. Yes. So, you know, yeah, yes. that's the long and the short of it. So, um, so I, I'm just going to go back to CM Vasudev at this point, and I'm, I'm going to push only for one thing, um, Mr. Vasudev, and that's for an investigation. And I do believe that for some reason, and I don't understand this, so if you could help us understand it, when Kingfisher failed in a shockingly similar fashion, they were FIRs that were, uh, you know, that were registered. People were talking about impounding or cancelling Vijay Malia's passport, of uh, attaching his personal assets, of selling his personal assets to recover the money to pay the employees. Somehow, in this case, none of that conversation is taking place. I want to understand what is the difference between Kingfisher and Vijay Malia and Jairabes and Naresh Goel. Why is there different treatment here? You know, what it appears is that in the case of Kingfisher, it was the lenders had clearly sort of said that this is an NPA and therefore they went after uh, the uh, promoter of the company and whatever consequences were there that were there and he left the country and all that. But in the case of Jet Airways, they have not yet come to that conclusion that the Jet Airways situation is beyond redemption, so to say. They have tried to find a sort of a via media by the lenders taking over the equity part, part of the equity of the promoters, uh, dislodging the uh, promoters from the board of the company and having a new chairman and all that, and inviting the new bidders to take over the airlines. And I think it certainly makes sense, as somebody else also has pointed out in this discussion, that if you are inviting bids from other potential uh, bidders, then nobody is going to come if some investigations are going on, CBI is going on, some other thing is going on, serious fraud office is going on, nobody will come. So that type of post-mortem, who did what, I think probably can wait for some time till this bidding process is completed. If some serious bidders do come up, they are going to lay down their conditions. They are going to invest the uh, investigate into the books of accounts, so a forensic audit, audit this, that, whether there is any uh, wrong entries there and some diversion of funds has been there. All that their accountants will go through it with their tooth comb. So, uh, and they will also ask for their conditions. They will ask for debt to be written off or interest to be written off, some salaries of employees also and staff also to be sort of rationalized and things of that type. All those conditions they will put that they are willing to put this bid for such and such price subject to such and such conditions being met. And if those conditions are acceptable to the others, so then of course it can be taken um, over. 
So there is that difference which the which yes. Sorry. Yeah, with all yeah. due respect to you, uh, Mr. Vasudev, I personally disagree that that's how law and order should function. And this is financial crime at the end of the day to say that we will hold off any investigation because we want bidders to find this airline attractive and let the bidders come and discover whatever is in it for themselves. Somehow seems like a, a softer, you know, weirdly manipulated form no, of I'm not law saying, and order. No, no, I am not suggesting that they should. I am not saying, no, I am not saying there should not be any investigation. Investigation will certainly be needed. But what is the timing for starting that investigation? Whether you do it in the midst of the process of inviting bids, bid are, bids are expected by 30th April, which is not too far you, off. You, uh, and they will have to decide for, again, it by Mr. Vasudev, early you May. do the investigation as soon so as you, you, you suspect foul play. Isn't that how law and order works? But Captain Tyagi has something to say. Captain Tyagi, Tyagi go ahead. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, I just want to point out one thing only that uh, in case there is a difference between Kingfisher and Jetways is that Jetways has paid all statutory dues till the last month. Mm. Till the last month, as far as income tax and the EPF is concerned, it was paid. But in in Kingfisher pay, case, no PPF, no EPF was paid by the uh, Kingfisher airline. Captain Thiagi, what is your Secondly, appeal to uh, the government because of, India of right the now? Uh, No, my appeal to the banks also and to the Honorable Prime Minister that uh, at least uh, give us a road map that how this airline is going to survive and they should release some funds so that this, we can fly again, we can be in the sky again because it was, it was a legacy carrier as far as uh, Jetways was concerned in the private airlines because we were flying around the world. We were giving uh, passengers to other airlines also. So many airlines have the code share with us. Everywhere I go, I've, I've flown any time, I've flown with a code share of at least seven to nine airlines. Vivek ready? go ahead. Yeah, short uh, clarification for yeah. you. So my request the, is to the is banks that uh, uh, they the should, question is whether the they government should release uh, the can funds. I just... so one, one second, Captain Thiagi. Yeah, the... Vivek ready is responding to you. Is... Yes, yeah, yeah, go please. ahead. Yeah, yeah. The issue is here we have... A... Yeah. Here we have a drowning man, a drowning person. The ultimate logic is that uh, there is some probability of a resolution for some days, after some days, where we can see this drowning man and pull him out of this ditch. We're pulling out of, pull him out of this uh, state of drowning. Or we could uh, hammer him with uh, more pressure and ensure that he drowns forever. Then it will affect the employees, it will affect the industry, it will also it's destroy ready. the whole company. I think it is prudent now that we have come this far to at least make, make a, a, create a window for this drowning Mr. man. Mr. Reddy, what window are you and creating only, if by that, not that releasing purpose, funds to the airline? What window to has been the created? Resuscitation. One second. What window, you have, have, you window, 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 window have you created? This is lip service without releasing funds to the airline. And everything else will follow. No, no. What what window have you the created? The rebuilding process is and going listen to, come. to me. What government. window have you government. created by we not releasing not funds to the airline government. and by handing out its slots not, and its parking slots to other airlines? Pay. The government does not come to rescue a private company. It only creates a facilitation that it survives. That okay. is what the government is doing okay. today. So, so hang on. Making no so you will not to come to the it, rescue of a private airline. You will create, you will facilitate a bidding process, but you will also hold off the investigative agencies until when? Until the elections are over. I don't know why it is so easy to understand that when you are drowning, if you push criminal cases on this man, he's going to be finished. So wait for the April 10. Okay. The government will take all measures. Mr. Reddy, and will I'm going them. to say this slowly to help you understand. But there is a Let difference you, between Naresh Goel and Jet them. Airways. They are not one and the same thing. Jet Airways is a company that runs an airline. Whoever they may be. Naresh Goel is an individual. Whoever they may be. Why can't you Whoever investigate be, Naresh person, Goel? Because according to the government of is, India, SBI and PNB have taken on the airline. All that so now the airline belongs to SBI. It doesn't belong to Naresh Goel. So investigate Naresh Goel. What are you afraid of? Why won't you investigate Naresh Goel? Even Not if one this FIR has, has been cheated filed. on that company and he has defalcated money. The government can pursue him. So why he hasn't there the government India? pursued him? He cannot run away. And he will be prosecuted <laughs> if at all such a situation Mr. Mr. Reddy, but hold what on. What do you mean he cannot run away? Do you know where he is right from now? From drowning. 
Does any of you know? Does anyone know where Naresh Goel is right now? The last email he sent to his employees was sent from London. Do you know where he is right now? What do you mean he cannot run away? Well, please let us not go to that stage. The government has control over him. The government, how? he is there. He is very much there under the control of the government. There is no, no, no way he is, can escape. I'm sorry, Vivek Reddy, now your you, answers are just let me completely tell you one thing. random. We I mean, I don't pursuing, even understand what you're saying. What do you mean the government has control over him? Every method that is available in order to ensure this, that this company survives. I'm sorry, in my opinion and... Okay, can uh, you answer just one thing? Everything. Has he given any personal assets as guarantee? Has he signed any guarantees, personal guarantees for his loan? Can we have a list of the personal guarantees signed by him? And the person assesses his mortgage. Have you started any process on that front? Have you looked yes. into that? You have to admit. Yeah, you let took over Malia's house. You took over Malia's house. Let him answer. Let him answer the question. Can Vivek, you answer what I asked you? Vivek Reddy, any personal assets and personal well, guarantees? Let me tell you one thing. No, let have me you tell given you that? No, no, you have to listen to the answer. These are early days for us to give you a list of details of all this. The government will have it. I am not the spokesperson for the government. I am the spokesperson of a political party. I am just talking about the policy now taken by the political party. Perhaps it is the policy taken by the government that is more important here. Okay. The government, I don't know what... Uh, All right, if you don't uh, know the answer, the then, then I have want. to... Then, On yes, the one hand, know. the panelists say, look here, the government must invest money. On the other hand, the panelists say, you got to chase him and finish him. Now, you, there is so much of contradiction between yourself. Uh, you know, Faye no, is advocating no, no, both no, the let's, let's, I just want to... I just Tell want me which proposition you want to... No, no, you want. Katie, please stop. It no, is please, for the government Please, you're not even making sense anymore. I'm the just going to ask you to stop. The government is prudent enough to decide. This is, there is a the difference. Timing. One second. Could we get him to stop? what has to be done? So, yes. See, okay. that's the problem yeah. with all BJP uh, spokespersons. Uh, nuance doesn't register with them. What we are saying is very simple. We are saying once SBI took over the airline, it should have released the money it promised. Correct. Right. Mm. Nobody is saying that the government should rescue the airline. You know, mm. please, uh, you know, there is a huge difference between these two things. If the SBI had not, you know, if the plan was not to release the money, then it should have gone through the IBC route, declared the loan to be an NPA, and yes. followed the procedure in process. Correct. Once it's sort of taken over the airline, then it should have released some money because it's easier to sell a functional airline yes. than a non-functional airline. So my my second point is this. Correct. Once SBI has taken over the airline as a public service entity, shouldn't it have looked through the books and found out Absolutely. what the status is? Of course, should shouldn't there be a clearer indication of whether or not there were I mean, personal as, guarantees and personal as, assets uh, that were attached? That, you know, the, the fact that the loan was given and the fact that the loan was defaulted on, I mean, I'm sure by now... Uh, I mean, uh, no. following good principle, SBI should have uh, done no, this. Whether it has done it, I don't know. Isn't it very obvious that everybody thought that there was something wrong? Because every bidder had only one requirement that Naresh Goel should not be there. The very fact that he was hindrance and the functioning of his was wrong, something happening with this was not very clean. That is why everybody wanted in mouth. Yes. So and, and, that uh, is the reason. And, that, and even the government support, asked yes, him to leave. Vivek, just, just one thing. And, uh, you know, uh, the BJP representative argued this quite well where he said basically if we start an investigation the bids will never go through but the investigation into Naresh Goel is different from is Jedevis, different from Jedevis. Yes, and this is not how law and order works you don't hold off an investigation until it's convenient you yeah. start an investigation as soon as you have any reason to believe foul yeah, play. I mean so if you were to sort of headline the entire issue you know Naresh Goel is the new Vijay Malia so you, which, and, and, and I'm sure they're partying away in London already now. <laughs> well, it, it just boils down to this, and we're going to keep a very close eye on Jet Airways, and we will continue to bring up the story because there are employees who have been wronged completely. They've worked very, very hard, and there is absolutely no justification for the employees to be in the position that they are in today. Several of the dues have not been paid, including that of the banks. Why did the banks take over Jet Airways? Why did they decide not to release the uh, funds to it and ground the airline? Where is Naresh Goel? And most importantly, why won't the investigative agencies, the CBI, the Enforcement Directorate, the Income Tax Department, why won't they investigate Naresh Goel? Where is he? Where are his personal assets? Did he pledge any of it? Did he sign any personal guarantees? These are questions that ought to be answered. And these are questions that ought to be answered by law and order. It has absolutely nothing to do with the airline. It has to do with investigating this one individual. And it must be done. Something is not right. We must get to the bottom of it. Thanks for watching.